Hey, a pleasant special day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be on Braden McNabb. As we all thought, the Vegas Golden Knights are going to find ways to figure out how to get more cap space. They extend one of their defensemen that they needed to extend. He's been there from the get-go. He's been a leader in the locker room. Developed into a fantastic defensive defenseman since his Kings days. Played a little bit with the Sabres, got out of Dodge, went to the LA Kings, started developing, and then really became... <clears throat> one of the more underrated, excuse me, defensemen throughout the league since going to the Vegas Golden Knights from their beginning season where they made the run to the Stanley Cups, been there since, been a leader on their defense, been an anchor on their defense, and just because he only gets at most the 10 to 12 assists, he had 22 the one year in LA as an outlier, that doesn't mean he's actually he, a bad passer. To me, he's actually a fairly solid getting the puck up the ice. Panthers just he never gets the assist because he's going to get it up to the forwards. They're going to they're going to be able to make some nice tic-tac-toe and then score. So he's not going to get one of the assists, but that doesn't mean he can't outlet it. He's not like I don't want to pick on Adam Larson, but people are going to know where I'm going with this. He's not like Larson who can get the puck off his stick and then sometimes makes the wrong read or isn't the best outletter. He can get it up the ice to the forwards and then they do what they do with it and he just doesn't happen to get a secondary assist. Um, and that's nothing to his passing. He can actually pass the puck a bit. He's also um, had 15 and 16 point seasons um, with the Vegas Golden Knights while being a very good defensive defenseman, a very good leader in the locker room, block shots. Um, in the playoffs, he's had four points in 13 games, uh, three points in 20 games while being a great uh, overall anchor on their defense. Um, I think this was a very smart, very wise move by the Vegas Golden Knights, particularly because they got him for a very cheap deal. Um, his contract now is going to be 285 cap hit. He only goes up from 25, and you can argue with how solid of defense uh, Brandon McNabb plays, um, <clears throat> especially on the PK when you have him on there, and he steps up immensely huge for you. Uh, he's worth more than 2.85. Honestly, on the open market, I would say he could probably get in the four millions uh, because he's that he's developed into that good on his own end. And then even if you give him that, they don't need that in Vegas because they have the Petrangelos of the world and the Theodores of the world. But if you gave him a little bit more leeway, he could probably have the 22 um, point season like he had with the LA Kings again, because like I said, he's not a bad passer. Um, it's, it's just with the 24-point season he had with the LA Kings, excuse me, the 22-assist season, he's just, he tends to never get the secondary assist because they're outletted up to the great offensive talent they have on the Vegas Golden Knights in the Stones, the Riley Smiths of the world, the Pacioretty's of the world, etc. And then he's never going to get the secondary assist. If he was on um, a team that kind of just gets it like the Flyers, for example, and they either don't score or they don't, where Cam Atkinson gets it, fires that thing, and if it goes in, it goes in, he would get more assists just by default. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. So I think this guy, how good of a defensive defense he's developed into, I would say at least a second-tier uh, defenseman because of how good he is at defense. And then also, he's very, very, very underrated because the leadership quality he brings – the fact that he can also um, be not just on the PK, but if you have injuries to defense because he's able to control it at the point and be able to still pass it to the more talented, say he's on the line with Theodore because uh, injuries are something, pass it to the more talented offensive defenseman and not get caught making the bad read in his offensive zone. He might not be an offensive defenseman, don't get me wrong, but he's not going to be one of those players like the Racco Gudas' of the world sometimes that are more defensive body-checking defensemen that'll get caught making a bad play in the offensive zone that'll then lead to a rush, and then they'll have to try to get back, and then if they don't, it could be a goal for the other team. He's a guy that's still competent and solid in his offensive zone. He just doesn't lead to a lot of points because that's not what he's one has to do, and that's just not the type of defenseman he is. But he's not going to be a guy that gives it up in the offensive zone like some guys that you would look at that are more just straight defensive defensemen sometimes do. Not tend to do, because not a lot of guys, but some certain guys sometimes do that, like the Adam Morrisons of the world. I mentioned the body-checking defensive guys, like the Gudises of the world, the Garica Branson's of the world at times. They have heavy shots if they can get it off. 
but they're not always consistent in the offensive zone. I think he's consistent in the offensive zone. He's just not an offensive defenseman, and he's very good in the defensive zone. Smart signing. A-plus on the signing here. Uh, Vegas is going to have to figure out the salary cap. I expect Riley Smith to honestly get traded, but we'll have to see going forward. Maybe Pacioretty will get traded, but that'll be a surprise to me because he's a a, um, fantastic scorer, obviously a a level passer, and one of those like A tier players when he's at his best. So that would be a little bit more shocking. Well, Riley Smith's a great player, but he's more of one of those very good B tier players when at his best. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please stay safe, everybody out there. Peace out, stay safe, and enjoy the hockey.